Hey guys, it's Monday night and it's coming up close on 8 o'clock. And every Monday night at 8 o'clock is the Beaverton CERT Community Emergency Response Team uh, Radio Net Check-In. The last few check-ins we have been practicing with digital mode. I had a little trouble the first time I did it, my I, operator error at this end, uh, but I think I've got that figured out. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let you take a look. We're using a protocol MT63. It's a very robust digital program that uh, does not require a lot of finesse. If you want to send a text message, now this can be a list of uh, names, phone numbers, perhaps radio frequencies, maybe it's a personnel list for people working at a certain location, or perhaps some supplies that you need delivered. I mean, the um, uses are endless, but you take your text message, paste it into the program, hit transmit, and the program encodes it into an audio tone that gets sent out over your radio. Now, it uh, basically works by holding your uh, microphone up against the computer speaker and transmitting that uh, tone. And all the person at the other end needs to do is hold their speaker up against the computer microphone running the program and it will decode it. So I'm going to turn the camera around and let you take a look at that. And then we're going to Tune in tonight on the net and see how the digital mode test works. Tonight we're going to be doing both a send and a receive test. Okay, let me give you a layout of the screen right here. This is the audio file for the test that we will receive from the CertNet. This is the program FIDIGI, F-I-D-I-G-I, -I, running MT63. You will see the tone that this is sent being decoded right over here. The next step is we will paste a message in here and send it out and we should see it being decoded up here. All right, let's give it a go. There you go, decoding. Now this says Beaverton CERT radio team. This is a test message from the Beaverton CERT radio team using MT63 end. All right, now over here is a document that I made with my message. I'm going to copy it. And then we will play that message. So let's paste it in here. And we'll hit transmit. There it is. Now the other cool thing is I used my iPhone and recorded this audio file and if I play the um, tone you'll see it decode right up here. There you go, decoding it. Okay, I just sent it. Did you uh, get anything on there? I did not get any sound. Uh, I'm assuming that are we just playing the tone through our microphone and there's no special setup? Standing by. The purpose of this net is to promote amateur radio preparedness and share ideas and information among Beaverton CERT members and all other interested parties. All stations are encouraged to participate. Beaverton CERT Radio is on the web at beavertoncertradio.org. All right, we'll now take check-ins. All stations are invited to check in regardless of your location or emergency response team affiliation. When checking in, please give your call sign fully and phonetically and your first name. The Beaver CertNet is now taking check-in. Kilo Echo 7, Uniform Alpha Foxtrot. This is Eric. Kevin and N7OH 
Mitch Vernon. Uh, thanks for checking in tonight. Do we have other check-ins? Kilo Fox 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, David. Okay, great. I have uh, Kilo Fox Trot 7, Echo Tango X-Ray, David. Kilo Delta 7, Hotel India Bravo John, and Kilo Echo 7, Fox Trot Juliet. Mike, Bill, thanks for checking in tonight. Do we have other check-ins? All right, a quick announcement before we get on with our uh, part two of our digital mode exercise tonight. I uh, just want to remind everybody, uh, the Beaverton Cert Radio Group will be having our so-called Eyeball Number 4, our fourth in-person get-together. That's next Wednesday, October 20th. It'll be from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Beaverton Community Center, also known as the Beaverton EOC, uh, located on the southeast corner of 5th and Hall in Beaverton. Uh, we'll have a variety of topics to discuss and some demonstrations. Everybody's invited to uh, this get-together. Uh, we're planning an antenna show-and-tell, so if you have a roll-up antenna or other interesting portable or, <laughs> well, hopefully portable antenna, uh, please feel free to bring it. Uh, we'll also be discussing FRS and GMR space stations and using digital modes. Uh, so we're looking forward to uh, seeing everybody again at that. Uh, so again, uh, next Wednesday night, October 20th, 7 to 9 p.m. at the Beaverton EOC at Hall and Fifth. Okay, so before we get to our exercise tonight, are there any other announcements, comments, or questions for the net, or any other check-ins? All right, nothing heard there. All right, in an email that we uh, sent out on Friday night, uh, we asked everybody uh, who wanted to participate to prepare a short message, about three or five sentences, or some amount of text that would take about less than a minute to transmit. Uh, we'll be using MT63 digital mode tonight. That's Mike Tango 63 digital mode. Uh, using a 2 kilohertz bandwidth, and if your software allows it, the long interleave uh, setting. Uh, you don't, if, you're, if your software that you're using uh, puts some tone on the front of it, uh, we don't need that. It does, isn't necessary, but won't harm anything if you send a, a, a sync tone, as it's called, uh, before your message. Uh, so in a moment, I'll uh, call a roll here, and we'll see which stations uh, would like to try sending messages tonight. Encourage everybody to try if you've installed that software and playing with it. Uh, it's an excellent opportunity to try it out here. Uh, so, using software like uh, MixW or Hand Radio Deluxe, you can demodulate the signals you're about to hear, convert the sound waves back into text. Uh, so, just hold your radio next to your computer's microphone and make sure the software is in an MT63 mode, and that should be all there is to it. Okay, so before I call the roll for tonight uh, for participating stations, are there any questions about the exercise? Okay, everybody's raring to go. All right, uh, let me take a quick roll call and we'll see uh, which stations would like to try transmitting an MT63 message tonight. Uh, K uh, KF7 ETX David. Good to go. All right, I've got what looks like a total of seven stations who would like to try uh, transmitting a message tonight. Okay, uh, any last minute questions before we start the exercise and call on the first station to transmit? Any questions about the exercise or any other check-ins tonight? All right, we'll get right into it. Okay, in order that they checked in tonight, uh, okay, uh, long tail there on the end of that message, uh, but did somebody who received the message, could they read back like the last sentence or something like that? I am using a Buxom Rax Rascal GLX sound card interface. Okay, what station got that? KF70 TX, David. Okay, David, uh, looks great. Uh, that's the end of the message I got. Uh, great, good work, Eric. Uh, looks like your message transmitted, no problem there. Uh, for those of you who haven't played much with digi the digital mode software, um, sometimes depending upon the mode that you're sending a message, uh, the software will just keep transmitting nothing, basically. So you want to make sure that it's set for auto-transmit, or as soon as you see it done transmitting the message, that you hit the stop button. So something like that, I think, was part of the issue. We heard a, a long tail there on the end of Eric's message. Okay, David, uh, KF7 ETX, uh, it looks like we just got an empty message, uh, no actual data. Uh, you want to try it again? I do. Operator error on this end. Stand by. Okay, great. 
we'll come back to you. Uh, 